I had, um, I had some very poignant moments writing this book because as a leader of an organization, I have 120 people in the Silicon Valley, right? We were ourselves going through the largest transformation we'd ever been through. And I remember my co-author and I, we would rent a, um, a room in a hotel, like a meeting space, mm -hmm. and we would write for a week. And there were some times where when we tr applied it to our own situation, it was so poignant. I actually would tear up sometimes because oh, wow. it was so raw. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God, for sure the model's true because that's how my own people feel. So it's a lot about empathy. As a leader, we're so focused on the future, like get this done, get this done, that we forget how the people we're communicating feel or are gonna process stuff. So at one point in the book, I had to do a big talk the following Monday at my own shop, and in the process of, of, of reading and writing this book, I realized I was conveying completely something different than what the, it's what I wanted to say, but it wasn't what the people needed to hear. So there was just these moments that were just startling um, while I was writing it.